So we're on the turning loop at the top end, and when you come up the straight climb, which you're working quite hard on, you get to where the curve starts, and it's a bit of an abrupt curve. Uh, it could do with a little bit of a transition into this curve and it slightly knocks the engine violently when you come up here if you've been doing a little bit of a pace to come up the hill. So today's job is to probably open up one of the fish plate joints and just slew the track over a little bit uh, to the left here and just to bring that curve in a little bit more gently. So I'm going to see if I can do that uh, in an afternoon. So the first thing I've got to do is to release this little set of fish plate uh, bolts there because the track is uh, butting up hard there. So I've got to undo those and take a little bit off the end of the track. Actually what I'll do is I'll just sit the track beside itself and then I can screw it all across and then trim a bit off the end of that rail. So first things first is to take off that. And now, can we screw this across? That's now already uh, shorter, so I've allowed myself to do that. So let me see if I can now line up the track a little bit better. Then we can sort that out. Right, so we loosen that one too. So now it's free, let's see if I can get a better line on the track there. So I know I want to start, I know I want to start a little bit earlier here, so if I kick this across like this. It's difficult to tell with the sort of jump in the rails there, so I've sort of made it good again, but I think that is going to be slightly better coming up here. So what I've now got to do is to cut little tiny bits off the rails and put the fish plates back on and have a sort out. Two small bits of rail, hot. So now I can put the fish plates back on, at least temporarily. So there's only uh, bolts in one end of the fish plate, but it's holding the track nicely now. So now I can have a look and see what it's looking like. Oh, I better put those two little uh, screws back in the sleepers or I'll forget that. So that's got the track reassembled temporarily. There's no fish plate bolts in that end of the fish plate, but at least it's holding the track steady. So I can first of all have a look at it and see what it looks like. And secondly, I can run some wagons over it as a little test. See how it feels. I can't go as fast as Bongo up here, but we'll do our best. So what I now have to do to keep it in place is to put some little spikes in, hammered down into the ground to hold it. Uh, and those ones I had before weren't really long enough, so I'll get some slightly better ones, um, cut some little lengths of pipe I've got, and bang them into the ground, and that will then be the job more or less complete. So I've moved this joint across a fraction. I'll just hammer this post in. So you can see, you can see we're about three or four inches, 10 centimeters across that way now, which I think is what I wanted to do. Um, so I think I'll just work my way down there, pegging it where I want it to be. Well, it's a much better curve than it was before, I think. It starts more gently and works into here. So we have to have a push pass on the wagons and see what it feels like. <laughs> I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. So the last job to do is just to reinstate the fish plate holes here where I shorten those bits of rail. So I've got the drill and I'll try and put them back in. If the fish plate bolts are too tight, then the, the track can't expand and contract, and then it pushes it all out of line. But hopefully these bits of pipe will hold it nice and steady. So that is one small piece of track improvement done. And next time I have the engine out running fast, we will find out if it's smoother on this curve. I hope it is.